Hello everybody, this is Gemini Jets 1975 coming at you with another flight schedule Sunday, this time on Southwest Airlines. And as you can see, there's quite a few uh, timetables here. I have two special guests. I have Gemini Jets J Triple X. Say hello. Hello, guys. And I also have Aviation Winnipeg. Hello, guys. And today, uh, this is going to be a long video as usual, so I better get started now so I don't break any world records here. All right. Um, the oldest flight schedule is March twenty or March second, nineteen ninety four. Uh, the nice thing about especially older Southwest timetables is on the back they have a really nice route map. And this timetable is probably right after when they introduced service to BWI, and as you can tell, there are no other cities served on the East Coast at this time. So uh, you have the uh, dense. California market and of course no Pacific Northwest service yet um, So let's see here We got 18 seconds there was an ad in here. I was gonna show you ah, Four new non-stops whoops four new non-stops from San Jose to Phoenix Okay, just plain smart was the uh, company slogan at the time all right, and the next one, October 30th, 1994, the route map then. They have already added service, more service to Baltimore. And probably the longest flight at the time was either Kansas City to Vegas or St. Louis to Salt Lake City. Or no, Nashville to Phoenix. So definitely not Transcons yet. And let's see here, open it up. Basically, just to kind of show you an old uh, Southwest timetable, they pretty much look like this the entire time. You have the to a city, or actually uh, from a city, and then to. So for Houston Hobby, oh, actually, I'm sorry, for New Orleans, you have the flight number, the time, the departure time, the arrival time, frequency, Monday through Sunday, and whether it's non-stop or not. Okay, so let's take a look at my current home city here. All right, so from San Antonio, there, let's see, many connections in Dallas. And then you have, let's see, here we go. I guess we could look at the map, but this is better. Dallas Love. And then El Paso, Houston Hobby, Las Vegas. Three non stops to Vegas. And then there's, what else do we have here? Oakland, Oklahoma City. Oh, here we go. Phoenix. Three non-stops to Phoenix. This was before Los Angeles. Uh, Rio Grande Valley. That would be Harlingen. Two non-stops. And I think that's it. Oops, I can. Okay. So, this was actually right after the uh, purchase of Morris Air. So... You have the Pacific Northwest, Salt Lake City. Uh, I don't remember exactly how many new cities were added uh, from that merger, but okay. Well, enough of that one. The next one is April seventh of nineteen ninety-six. This is actually um, when Southwest initiated service to Orlando. This isn't when they initiated service to Florida, but to Orlando. Because first it was Tampa and Fort Lauderdale, I believe, and then they added Orlando later. And this, so this was in 96. So you have Orlando to uh, the usuals, uh, Baltimore, Columbus, 
Indianapolis, Louisville, Nashville, St. Louis, and Birmingham, and New Orleans. So they didn't even serve Chicago. Chicago was nowhere near as big as it is now, and Baltimore certainly wasn't. Houston was probably one of the biggest stations. And then this is when uh, service from San Antonio to Los Angeles was initiated. April 7th, actually. And then Houston to Las Vegas. So, and then if you flip inside, let's see what it says. Orlando. Okay, it doesn't actually give. All right. The next one is September 8th of 1996. This is when they initiated service to Providence, Rhode Island. And of course they added service out of Baltimore. There's more service out of Orlando to saw San Antonio and Austin. Okay. Route map is getting a little bit thicker now. And let's see here, basically the same old format. All right, next, uh, this is, uh, their advertising slogan was now a symbol of freedom, uh, October 27th, 1996. I have no idea, okay, what I wrote there. Looks like this is before they even started service to Providence, so they're re-advertising. Wait, is this the same one? No, October. All right, and then next we have April 6th, 1997. All right, so you have not too much new service. There's uh, Jacksonville was started. And let's see here. Red Lines. Nashville to um, San Francisco. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flip through here. So let's look at San Antonio now. Just for the heck of it. And St. Louis. Okay. I'll go through a little bit faster this time. Corpus Christi. Okay, Dallas Love. <clears throat> of course, El Paso, Houston, Las Vegas. One non-stop to LA. I think now it's two or three. Nashville. All right, and then we have Orlando, one non-stop. Phoenix, three. Harlingen, two. And let's see, I think that's it. All right. Okay, next Hello. is October 26, 1997. So you have Orlando and Tampa to Albuquerque. Jacksonville, Orlando, and Tampa are getting much more dense. Oh, no new East Coast cities. Added, flights added out of Baltimore. So out of Baltimore. Let's see what we have. Something coming here. No, I won't do that. Not until a little bit later. Okay. So we have January 15th, 1998. This might be one of the last where they actually print the entire map. Okay, so... 
Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, Tampa. Everything's coming, coming a little bit more dense. Alright. Okay, this one is April 5th, 1998. Okay, so Manchester is the newest city. And they've added, they're adding a ton of service. So you have Manchester to Chicago, Nashville, Baltimore, and Orlando. And Fort Lauderdale to St. Louis. Chicago still isn't growing that much. Kansas City up to Portland. New Orleans to Vegas. Oklahoma, no, Tulsa to Vegas. And Spokane to Vegas. Uh, Manchester service began June 7th of 1998. We have July 6th, 1998. So, uh, let's see. A spoke added out of Providence to Kansas City. And then Nashville to, uh, looks like San Diego possibly. A little hard to read. So, definitely things are getting busier. All right, now we have September 11th, 1998. All right. And there are no new services being added as of this timetable. We got Chicago to Baltimore finally. So if we, let's see, let me, Baltimore is kind of at the front. Okay, so you have Birmingham, Chicago, Cleveland, Fort Lauderdale, Jackson, Jacksonville, Kansas City, Louisville, Manchester, lots of non-stops in Manchester. Uh, Nashville, one to New Orleans. Okay, Orlando is only three. Providence, lots to Providence. Okay, with St. Louis. All right, and Tampa Bay. So remember, guys, Southwest began growing heavily in Baltimore, Washington in response to U.S. Air, slash, well, U.S. Air basically pulling out. Uh, Metrojet failed, so um, actually they started growing there before Metrojet failed, but that kind of sped things up quite a bit. Okay, this one is October 25th, 1998, and they no longer printed the entire map. They only showed new flights. So, um... You know, it's not quite as busy. San Antonio to Baltimore. Phoenix to Baltimore. Um, December 7th would have been San Antonio to Baltimore. All right. And um, this was the official airline of the NFL. Of, before this, it was Delta. Let's see. And then in red, it shows you uh, new flights highlighted in red. It shows the NFL schedule in here. And back on the Cowboys are good. Okay, so this shows you week by week, not team to team. All right. And then April 4th, 1999. So this is close to the... Uh, Getting close to the turn of the century here. A uh, new flight, Raleigh Durham is a new city. Service to Raleigh Durham began June 6th of 1999. Uh, Chicago to Houston and Chicago to Phoenix and Nashville to Seattle and Nashville to Fort Lauderdale. Okay. And then June 6th, 1999. I was making sure that wasn't a repeat. Okay, another busy uh, 
timetable release. Tampa to Kansas City, Providence to Houston, Manchester to St. Louis or Kansas City, Kansas City to Indianapolis, and Kansas City to San Diego. LA to New Orleans. That was quite a few uh looks like connecting routes here. Alright. And then here uh, again, an NFL game schedule. We have September 12th, 1999. All right. So we have additional service out of... Actually, this might be new service. Yeah, new service to Hartford, Connecticut began October 31st of 1999. So you initial service from Hartford to Chicago, Nashville, Orlando, and Baltimore, of course. So, okay, next, uh, January 16th, 2000, flight attendant on the front, um, new service, not a whole lot, we have Islip to Orlando and Chicago to Fort Lauderdale, always gotta love the Florida service. Okay, these are the old time zone lines, I know it's a little bit different now. Okay. All right, so June 11th, 2000. Uh, we have Islip to Jacksonville and Fort Lauderdale, Baltimore to Indianapolis and Austin, New Orleans to San Diego, Indianapolis to LA and Phoenix. Lots of new Indianapolis service in June of 2000. And again, uh, brand new flights are highlighted in red. So that way you know that they're a new service. Okay, next, October 29th of 2000. So you have Providence to Fort Lauderdale. Oh, I didn't have the new Albany. Okay. Uh, Baltimore to Salt Lake and Albuquerque, Birmingham, actually Vegas to Birmingham, Tulsa, and Louisville. Okay, and this is the next before the last. And now finally, I don't think this was the last timetable because Southwest printed timetables a lot longer than a lot of the other airlines. This was June 10th, 2001, so this is literally... Mm, three months before 9-11. So you have Vegas to Raleigh-Durham, Vegas to Tampa, and Vegas to, it looks like, Orange County. Um, and then Orange County to Phoenix, and Phoenix to Tampa Bay. So if you open it up, let's look at Baltimore now. And get this thing. Print has gotten smaller. All right, so we have Albany, New York, Albuquerque, Austin, Birmingham, Buffalo, Chicago, Cleveland, Columbus, Fort Lauderdale, Hartford. Houston Hobby, Indianapolis, Jackson. Jackson has been discontinued, I believe. Jacksonville, Kansas City, Las Vegas, Little Rock, Long Island, Islip, uh, Louisville, Manchester, Nashville, New Orleans, Orlando, Phoenix, Uh, Providence, Raleigh, Durham, St. Louis, Louis, sorry, Salt Lake City, San Antonio, one nonstop. Okay. And then Tampa and West Palm Beach. So West Palm Beach have been added. All right. And then one last one since we're only at 20 minutes. If anyone in the crowd is getting anxious. 
Okay, Chicago Midway. Uh, Baltimore, Birmingham, Cleveland, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, Detroit. Lots of flights to Detroit. Hartford, Houston, Indianapolis, Jackson, Kansas City, uh, Las Vegas, Little Rock, Long Island, uh, Louisville, Manchester, Nashville. I believe Chicago is the largest station by departures, daily departures for Southwest. It's over 200, I think. Uh, Omaha, Orlando, Phoenix, and that like 16 years after this, so 15 years. Providence, Raleigh, Durham, St. Louis. Yeah, you would actually have to go online and try to find, see if someone downloaded time tables. Is unfortunately, like I said, no one really prints these anymore. Tampa Bay. And that's it. All right. So that basically go makes it through the uh, tour of Southwest timetables. And this was, their slogan was a symbol of freedom. So, and then if you want to write them, this is their old mailing address. Okay. So let me get back to my special guest. All right, guys. Did you guys have anything to add to the video? Alright. Alright. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the look through the past of Southwest Airlines um, flight schedules from 1994 to 2001. So thank you guys for watching as always. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I will see you guys in the next video.